Beacons AI versus Linktree. Which one is better? Hi guys, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Beacons AI and Linktree and we're going to be comparing them head to head and we're going to be determining which one is better for your needs. I'm going to be taking a look at their pricings, their features, and mainly what each of these software is used for so that you can make a better and much more informed decision. So let's get into it. So everyone might have known about Linktree, right? It's everywhere. A lot of creators use it. It's free, has tons of features. And recently, Beacons AI has made a comeback or has made a pretty decent name for itself. And a lot of creators have been using it. And it also has tons and tons of features. And we're going to be showing you how you can go get started with it. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and sign up. I already have an account on Linktree. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. I'm going to show you how easy it is to set everything up. And then I'm going to show you how easy it is to that on Beacon so that we can go ahead and see when it comes to actual usability, which one is better. So I'm going to sign up on Linktree. So I'm going to sign up on Beacons AI. And one of the cool things about Linktree and Beacons is that their pricing. You can see right here, Beacons also has a free plan right here the creator pro the store pro and the business pro right each of them will have different options different features and different level of customizations as well so if we stick with the free plan we get to have customizable links in bio customizable media kit we can sell unlimited digital products and appointments there is a nine percent seller fee and we can sell courses well one course and a smart auto reply dm 50 emails five email automations 10 ai images and text generation we can even send invoices and real-time analytics as well and if we go with the creator pro we get all of those but mainly we get unlimited ai advanced seo 500 emails uh, customized product urls buy now pay later option we can also hide the beacons logo and the beacons branding and we get free custom domain as well you will have to buy it though they just allow you to go ahead and add it and this is the annual fee so you get two months free it's going to be 833 but if you go with monthly it's going to be ten dollars so keep that in mind anyway now you know how much it's going to cost you we'll take a look at all the features in depth later for now i'm going to select the free plan and sign up signing up is pretty simple all you got to do is just sign up and claim your free link in bio so here it's going to be beacons.ai after that you can add your user your username it's going to go ahead and see whether or not it's free then you can click on next and then you can go ahead and sign up with your name email or password or just go ahead and continue with google or any other social if you want then it'll quickly ask you to go ahead and add your socials so you can go ahead and do that uh, sometimes some of these websites you know they're just weird so i'm gonna go ahead and add them uh sometimes they don't register it that's why i'm trying to test it out all right so just in case i'm already logged in into the social media account so now i'll just i gotta do is just copy the copy my username come back over here paste it same thing i gotta do with tiktok paste that over there i don't have a youtube or that but i do have x so i'm gonna do that and then just paste it over here and then click on next so then it's gonna go ahead and scan all of them add them to the uh beacons ai data and create that page for you so give it a couple of seconds we should be good to go and then it's gonna see all right this is your profile you can see the profile picture social media and everything and then yeah, I think these tags are okay. And then this is me. Click on next. Then you can select which template fits best your style, right? So which color do you like better? Really like this yellowish color or a mustard color. So I'm going to go with this one and click on next. And we're going to select our social medias. Click on next. It's now ready. Now we can just simply go ahead and just copy the link and paste it on our social media accounts and we should be good to go. So I'll click on next and we're going to skip this for free and own link in bio. Yeah, that's OK. If you want this one, you can go with other ones as well, but we'll skip that since we don't need it. And there we go. We are going to go. And it was as simple as that. Uh, usability wise it's done it's it was done. Uh, we can go ahead and customize it a little bit, like select links digital products and everything else we can add different blocks over here on the left hand side we've got our digital product section where we can upload our digital products courses whatever we want have our affiliate product sections right here separate and marketing brands everything is going to be separate over here in contrast to linktree when you log in i already have an account so i'm going to skip all of that it's very similar but I would say Linktree is a little bit more simpler since Beacons has all these different, you know, categories, like it has a separate store for digital products. It has a separate section for affiliates, 
for marketing everything linktree is does not have that it just has two sections or well three but two main sections the links and then the shop in the shop you can upload all of your products and the links you can add your links and it's as simple as that creating one is over here you have some other options like social planner instagram auto reply link shorteners and everything else but it's as simple as that it doesn't get as simpler as this one you can upload your links over here so for example if i click on add links i can go with instagram right replicate my instagram grid or whatever and just add my instagram link over here you can add those options as well these options we did not get in the bacons but we do get it over here and then we can click over here add the profile and here we just simply add the url so copy the url paste it and boom and then just simply activate it finish connecting it by clicking on the connect instagram button it's gonna open up instagram over here and we already have it you can see it's not as simple as that it should be good to go but finish connecting your instagram to display my instagram is already creator or business account i believe let me actually see again yeah it is creator because i have the dashboard professional dashboard uh, i would not usually get this if i it was any other R. But you can see it's oh, I have the link tree as well. It's a little bit difficult to connect other social media. So we have to go through all of this. We gotta make sure it's switched and then you know switch to your personal account to business, do all of this, and then over here, head to your Instagram profile, tap on edit profile on a profile slash public page. If you are asked to connect Facebook, we gotta do all of that. So that's why it's sometimes it's weird. We can add another link over here. Let's say TikTok, right? TikTok, I'll again, copy the link to my TikTok page. Come over here. We can choose whether we want to open TikTok, display my TikTok profile or whatever. And again, we need to connect our TikTok over here. Let's see how, is it as simple as that? Yes, it is. We just simply click on the button and it is now connected. I would much rather have a tool like Beacons. It did not ask me to go ahead and connect anything. It just showed me, it just asked me to add the links to my profiles and boom, it was there. But this one is a little bit different. Link tree is a little bit different. And now here we can add TikTok, add that over here. Boom, it is now connected. Or maybe we can just simply add TikTok since it's already connected. Now we need to go ahead and do that. It'll automatically have that. And now we can just add the integration name and I don't know. I'll add the TikTok over here and click on save. Boom. We now have TikTok. We can go with display my TikTok profile or profile and videos. I'll go with profile and then boom, should be good to go. TikTok. There we go. There we go. Now it looks like that. So let me actually turn this off because we don't need that. We already have that. This is the TikTok one, right? And we click on the TikTok button over here. We can see which one do we want. Do we want TikTok profiles? And here is the layout of it as well. I accidentally closed it. We can go with features or we can go with the classic one. Uh, it totally depends on you. These options are good. It do, does bring a little bit of character within your link tree page or your social media page, but it is a little bit of hassle because you have to go ahead and connect all of these accounts whereas in beacons it was simple you just add the link and boom both are good if you don't mind the hassle i would definitely pick this one since it's a little bit easier since it's a little bit cooler and you know gives you a bunch of different options you can even put like you can set thumbnails over here you can upload your own thumbnail choose from the tablet you can go with tiktok link redirect animate you know if you click on animate you can add like a whole animation once but for that you need to go ahead and upgrade your account but yeah and you can always add all these different links to different products you also have the ability to go into shops and create a shop for yourself and this one here will have all of your main shop icons or main shop products over here whether they're affiliate products digital products don't it doesn't matter they're all going to be available over here and then you have your my link tree option right here where you get your audience you also get insights like analytics and you also get social planner and instagram auto reply as well which is pretty cool so and when it comes to pricing is cheaper than beacons so you can see we have the free plan then we have the starter which is five dollars and then we have the pro which is ten dollars whereas in beacons it was higher so for example, if I go back over here, you can see if we switch to monthly, the creator, it goes from free plan to creator plan, which is $10 and then ends up with $30, which is their Thor Pro plan. And then we have the business pro, which is $90. But when it comes to Linktree, you can see it starts at $5. Then we have the pro one, and which is going to give you basically everything, you know, social media scheduling, auto replies, shorteners, email uh, integrations, seller, reduced seller fees, highlight key links, personalized links tree and 
animations and stuff like that so there you go both have different options in my opinion beacons is a little bit simpler it has other options as well like digital products affiliate products marketing and those ones but linktree also is kind of similar but it offers a more customizable option when it comes to your links and so your social media options so and it's a little bit cheaper as well so there you go let me know in the comments which one you like and which one you're going to use so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye